we start by taking the log of both sides on the base 2. The left hand side is equal to log on the base 2 of x raised to the power 3 upon 4 times log x to the base 2 square plus log x to the base 2 minus 5 upon 4. And the right hand side is equal to log of root 2 to the base 2. Now the right hand side can be written as log of 2 raised to the power half to the base 2. Using properties of logarithms, this is equal to half of log 2 to the base 2, which is equal to half. Using properties of logarithms, this equation simplifies to 3 upon 4 times log x to the base 2 whole square plus log x to the base 2 minus 5 upon 4 times log x to the base 2 is equal to half. Now let log x to the base 2 be equal to z. Therefore this equation becomes z times in brackets 3 upon 4 times z square plus z minus 5 upon 4 is equal to half. Multiplying both sides by 4 and moving all terms to the left hand side, we get 3z cube plus 4z square minus 5z minus 2 is equal to 0. Notice that z is equal to 1 satisfies this equation. Now let's rearrange this equation as 3z cube plus 7z square minus 3z square minus 7z plus 2z minus 2 is equal to 0. Combining 3z cube and minus 3z square, we get 3z square times in brackets z minus 1. Combining 7z square and minus 7z, we get plus 7z times in brackets z minus 1. And finally, combining 2z minus 2, we get plus 2 times in brackets z minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies that z minus 1 times in brackets 3z square plus 7z plus 2 is equal to 0. This implies that either z is equal to 1 or 3z square plus 7z plus 2 is equal to 0. Solving the quadratic for z, we get minus 7 plus minus square root of 49 minus 24 upon 6 which is equal to minus 7 plus minus 5 upon 6 and therefore z is equal to minus 1 upon 3 or minus 2. Therefore, the possible values of z, which is equal to log x to the base 2, are 1 minus 1 upon 3 and minus 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2 or 2 raised to the power minus 1 upon 3 or 2 raised to the power minus 2. In other words, x is equal to 2 or 1 upon 4 or 1 upon cube root of 2.